Good day, everyone. Welcome to Teacher Judy Channel. Hello, everyone. We have our new topic in Science Seven, which is all about a sexual reproduction. This will be the second quarter topic and week five. This topic. Is a milk based. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you are expected to differentiate asexual from sexual reproduction in terms of the number of offspring and similarities of offspring to parents. Specifically, you are also expected to first is to describe asexual reproduction, the second one is to classify organisms according to their moods of asexual reproduction. And the last one is to cite importance of producing new individuals through a sexual reproduction. Reproduction in an organism may be classified into asexual and sexual. Many kinds of plants and lower forms of animals produce new individuals by asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the creation of new organism from a single parent without combination of gametes. Therefore, the parents and the resulting offspring have the same genes and this is the reason why we have the same traits. In other words, the parent and the offspring are identical to each other. A sexual reproduction requires less energy since no mating is needed but can produce many offspring at one reproductive cycle. Below is a table showing the different modes of asexual reproduction, its description and example. The first one is the spore formation. When a parent plant produces hundreds of tiny spores, which can grow into new plant. When the spore case opens, the tiny spores are released and may be carried by the wind or water. Once the spore lands on the favorable environment, it develops into a new organism. The second one is budding. When an outgrowth called a bud grows and develops from the parent animal, a would eventually separate to become a new individual. The third one is the fission. It is a mode of asexual reproduction wherein two individuals will form as the parent divides in half. Another mode of asexual reproduction is the fragmentation. It is where a new organism grows from a fragment of the parent. Each of these fragments develop into matured, fully grown individuals. And the fifth modes of asexual reproduction is the regeneration. It is when an organism replaces or repair a lost damaged part of the body. <music> the 
Vegetative propagation is a mode of asexual reproduction in plants where a new plant can form from root, stem, leaf, or an already existing plant. The table shows the different types of vegetative propagation in plants. The first one is the runners or the stolon. It is an above ground stem that grows horizontally along the surface when the stem touches the ground. Buds from the stem from fruits and leaves and a new plant develops. The second type is the rhizomes. The rhizome is an underground stem that grows horizontally along the surface, shoots from buds at nodes of the stem develop into a new plant. The third type is the tuber. Tuber are enlarged and thickened underground stem with buds or eye. Another type is the bulb. The bulb has a short underground stem and thick, fleshy leaves that are colorless. A bulb can reproduce several smaller bulbs, each of which can grow into a new plant. Another type of vegetative propagation in plants is the corm. The corm is an enlarged, short underground stem that stores food. Corms resemble bulbs but do not have thick or fleshy leaves. New corm develop from the stem of the old corm to produce a new plant. 